Ryan on Rumble. We got Chitter Chatter on Rumble. It looks like Canada is a straight up dictatorship now. Yeah, 100%. Canada is completely collapsing. Canada is fucking insane. We got so many losers, woke, low IQ losers living in Canada that have come through the indoctrination center. I hate to say it, like, but man, I've dealt with them. You walk around right now, you see people walking around outside with masks on in the woods like mentally ill like annihilated there there there's no humanity left in them it's insane it's crazy it's sad right Gee, yeah i'm from london and the education system is not the greatest here either to say the least my father is a math teacher so hopefully i will uh, reconnect with him and and my communities thank you so much chicho your stream so refreshing and motivate me to be resilient and hold on much love much love chia much love and if you live in a place where the education system is garbage become a private educator there are parents that are desperate 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 really desperate mc my canada's fucked hate to say it yeah hate to say it too uh, brother mc mike's from canada as well uh, we hate to say it, but any Canadian that uh, seen what's happened in the last four years, man, it's one of the saddest things you'll you'll ever witness, right? Salbidini, I live in Florida. State testing is what kills us. Uh, teaching towards a test instead of trying to uh, really expand the youth knowledge. Yeah, one hundred percent in Canada too. You should see some of the tests that they brought out. These woke losers that are in control of uh, um, education in British Columbia, because in Canada it's provincial. Man, you read the standardized tests that they want kids to write in grade 10. It's, it'll, it'll send shivers down your spine. How, like if you know, if you care about canada you care about children you care about families you want to stand up against tyranny you read this question this uh, every kid in grade 10 has to write math standardized test your blood will boil your blood will boil it's they call the numeracy test look look at look online gang look up british columbia canada grade 10 numeracy test right and they have sample tests available they have one question sample question they have instead of writing units they have little pictures they have like 10 a picture of something 15 a picture of something 20 picture of something 30 picture of something and it's supposed to be units like meters millimeters centimeters but it's other units right and the pictures you you can't tell them apart like you look at it you go what like there are boxes with line like and another one like you have to like you have to bring a magnifying lens like i can't like for me i'm like what i've i've looked at this test for the last few years three four years they've had this five i can't remember now every student that i look this with they're like what chicho what i've talked to teachers that are forced to give this to their kids and they like chicho yeah we know this is garbage but they need to do this if you love your children do not put them in centralized indoctrination centers do whatever you need to do to get them privately educated if you do it yourself or you hire help to do it your that's your biggest investment you have in your life it's not your home it's not your RRSP or your retirement savings plans or your social security. That's all bullshit. If you have kids, your kids are your biggest investment in your life. Financial advisors would like to say, it's your home. Your home is your biggest investment in your life. Bullshit. Your family is your biggest investment in your life. Invest in your family. Okay.